Alright guys, how's it going? I'm back again. So, where we left off was we were making the exhaust for the Miata. We were kind of making a custom downpipe by using a combination of a downpipe I bought online and then the old flange I had on my Saab Turbo. So, where we're at with that so far, we got the downpipe, we got the flange all welded up. I mean, it should work. Thank you, Kyle. And right now we're well, we're not welding, trying to drill a hole for the O2 bung. Still having trouble with that because our drill sucks and uh, keeps overheating. But we're gonna get an O2 bung on here. That will be our stock O2 sensor location. And then the wide band will come down to this bung over here. That's because I don't have a mega squirt and I'm just running the stock ECU and a uh, fuel pressure regulator. So far, other than that, what I've gotten done is a few small things. I got the new fender on it actually. And uh, I gotta adjust it still. Uh, as you can see, the holes aren't lining up up here. So I need to like undo these bolts uh, up here, here, down here, and then down here. And then I need to shift it that way and then really bolt it down for good. Up here at the front where it attaches to the front fender, the there's usually a bracket in here with two bolts that stick out and the fender kind of slides onto that. Well, mine didn't have it because I got in an accident a long time ago. So instead what I did is I took two bolts and two nuts and just made my own. So there is a little bit of a gap and that will always be there, but it's okay. Because then I'm also going to be ending up doing a uh, quick release right about here. That way I can just take my bumper off real quick. So that's on there. This fender has actually been rolled in the past by the previous owner. So that's good. Um, I'm going to have to roll the other fender on the other side. Now for the fun today. I got my hood out here as you can see sitting on these uh, wonderful bins. And there's a reason for that. Because we're cutting that hood up and we're going to put a new D-Max vent on. So let me pull this out real quick. And as you can see, it's a fiberglass mold. And what we're gonna do is take this here mold, we're gonna rivet it onto this here hood, and then we're gonna use fiberglass. We're gonna put that on once it's riveted. Then on top of that, after we sand it down again, we're gonna bondo it. And then we're finally gonna be able to uh, throw it on the car. And then eventually this whole car is gonna get repainted. So let's get to it. All right guys, so I marked on the front and on the back, where I believe the center line to be. I've never done this before, so uh, it's a learning experience. But now I'm gonna try to set center line on the vent and line it up to these. So it took me forever, but I finally got a general idea of where the hood's gonna sit. It's kinda hard to tell because there's the, the bump on the Miata hood. And that kind of makes it hard, it makes it wobbly. So I gotta press it down, try to figure out where it's gonna line up. So these are all kind of just guesstimations, but um, it's the best I could do with what I got. So we're gonna figure out how much further in the vents are that need to be cut out, because they sit a little bit lower than the actual hood. So I'm gonna have to cut out that hole. And I wanna see, so it's about an inch, inch and a half inside. So that's where I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut about an inch and a half inside of this line and then make my square. And the goal is I'm gonna try not to cut through the supporting structure of the hood because I still wanna have the hood not flex too much because if it flexes too much, it could possibly crack that vent because it's fiberglass. But um, we don't wanna have that floppy hood like what the RX-7 has. If I have to do it, I have to do it, but I'd prefer not to and I wanna keep as much support as I can. So let's get to cutting. All right, so I've been out here struggling for a little bit trying to line this thing up right, and it just won't line up, and I'm using the wrong references, and uh, yeah, so now Kyle's here to help, as always, to save the day. So he came over and he has this idea to line up everything properly, because all of these edges, like over here, this is one inch, and an inch and a half, this is an inch. These don't even line up on these sides. They're not good references. So we have to flip it over and use the underside, which where you can see where it's cut out, there's a little bit of a gap as our reference. Yeah. So we're gonna so just get to doing that. We're gonna use some of this here. Uh, you can use string, fishing line, any of these things. It's gonna take two people. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out basically where we want this on the hood. And then we're gonna run this along the inside edge next to where the bumps are down below, so where these things are, it's gonna run up against this in line, something like this. And we're gonna use that as a reference. So once we get it, 
all we gotta do is pull it tight where we want it and then hold this flat and then when we move this out of the way we got our line and we just draw it that's basically it and then after we mark it we're gonna cut to the inside just in case so that if we have to we can grind it out a little but you'd rather cut less than more All right, so thanks to his genius idea, we now have some guidelines. So we're gonna cut this line, this line, till here, and then over here, and just get that square, so kind of take the whole bump out, and then we're gonna try to place that in and see where it sits. Hopefully rivet it on, and then start to get to fiberglass. And... Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I could always be the one you wanna call when it's cold outside. I will always be the one that's right here standing by your side Open up your heart and let me in I promise not to break you I promise I'll be all, all that you want So let me in, in my heart you fall Let me in, oh In your love That's pretty sick. That's gonna look pretty damn good. Dude. Look at that. What do you think? I think it looks good. I wanna just get it on. I wanna see it, and then I wanna start doing the molding, you know? It's gonna be sick. Let's do it. So guys, Austin's getting a little frustrated with the hood. I'm trying to help him out, because he's really stressed, and he's really pushing himself to get this thing done in a day. I told him, like, you know, sometimes with these projects, you gotta take your time. You gotta, you gotta realize it's okay if you don't get it done in one day, and just do what you can. So, I'm gonna help him out with this a little bit more. I've just been busy doing housework and stuff like that. But, uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish working on this and try to get it fitting a little bit better. Um, and yeah, so we'll just see what we can do. If we don't get it all done in one day, it's okay. It's okay, there's always tomorrow. We'll just do what we can and take the steps towards being successful and get this thing done. So let's do it. <sighs> All right, so uh, we got this ground out. We sanded down where it's going to be bonding to. And now, because this is a metal hood, it's made out of aluminum, we're going to have to rivet on the fiberglass vent. The reason we're doing that is because fiberglass, uh, like short, strand, short hair fiberglass resin and stuff, doesn't bond to metal. They have two different heat rates and like where they expand, so it always cracks. So if we rivet it to the steel, or sorry, aluminum, rivet it first, then it's held in, it's fastened down, then we're going to use fiberglass, long hair fiberglass on top, and then we're going to mold that, and then we're going to do bondo on top of that to really make it stay in there and look good. But uh, right now we're about to drill some holes and rivet it on. Let's do it.
It's almost there though. It's getting there. Got all the rivets on. It's looking nice and clean. And Only broke two drill bits. Yeah, just just two, but it's okay. We got this one little little boo boo right there. But yeah, that's okay. Found the one weld on the hood. You know. Yeah. Our luck. It happens. It's all right. So next step, we gotta get ready to do, I guess, the body filler and stuff like that, resin and shit. Fun. That's gonna be fun because we've never done any kind of body work. This is a first for us, so yeah, I'm really excited. Woo! Let's do it. Okay, so now Austin's gonna explain to you guys what we're doing with this resin shit. We've never used it before, so here he is. So, my plan. First, you need cardboard to mix on. So, we'll have one person with the resin. We're gonna mix it. They're gonna have the big one. They're gonna scoop it. They're gonna slap it on there. Just around the whole thing, just slapping. Slapping. Then, we're gonna have me using this. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna just mold it into whatever I like. Cause within 12 to 15 minutes it's hard. Uh, within, well, within three to four minutes it hardens. Within 12 to 15 it cures. So we gotta hurry. But we're gonna do this. This is our first time doing it. Don't try it this way unless it works for us. Ugh. <laughs> oh my God, it's like. <laughs> it looks like cat vomit. <laughs> it looks like a giant hairball. But, but yeah, this, what is, you do. this is the brand we're using, just Bondo. You know, the OG stuff. Oh my stuff. god, that smells strong. Ooh. Jesus Christ. Ooh. That All is right. so strong. Holy shit. Get my respirator on. Yeah, I need to get um, mine ready too. Ready. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Talk about going in blind. I'm already blind. All right. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's do this. We'll see you in a sec. Yeah. Here we go. We're going to see how this stuff works. That's the hardener. I've never... Ugh. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought. You will want to use gloves. Yeah, and respirators. Holy shit. The big old pile of dookie. Holy shit. That has a weird smell. Yeah, I think it's called chemical freshness. What would be a good nickname for that? Hulk hairball. Alright, well that's the whole can. Okay, ready? Here we go. And now we just can mix all that shit in there. You think that's going to be enough? I don't know. I've never done this. Yeah, I would say that's good. Fuck, I don't know. All right, that's a catalyzer, so. Time to do this quickly. What is it? How much did these cost? I think they're long. They're gone. really cheap. They think they're goners, Kyle. Yeah, they are pretty much goners. It just what... stuck to my finger as I tried to get rid of it. Yeah, here's what we got. So this is real sloppy, but this is just like filler, right? So we're gonna use this as like our baseline, and then we're gonna take it and sand it all down. So it's gonna get sanded back, and then we're gonna use uh, Bondo to smooth it all out completely. So, yeah. All right, so uh, it said we needed sanding blocks. Kyle had a genius idea. So we took blocks of wood, took some screws, and drilled our sandpaper right onto our blocks. It's pretty straightforward. And then uh, you can tell this, it sat for about 15, 10 to 15 minutes. It's still a little sticky though. Yeah, we might have to wait just a little bit longer, but then what we're gonna do is take these blocks and just whoosh, 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 and just smooth it on down. All the way. We'll get to it. Oh, 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 oh,